for a day when I pulled it down because it wasn't right. He pulled it down because he got called out. I sent him the uh, screenshot of his own face on the camera. But I put a glove on, shook the camera, and knocked it off. Put a black glove on as if it was Junior's black hand grabbing the camera. You can see it go over the, uh, the view. The tree added some sounds that I added some sounds uh, I'd already had from a previous video. A previous video. So he used audio from a previous video? Well, in the process of falling off the tree, it caught a small image of me in the very corner of it. So, yeah, he knocks it off the tree, it hits the ground, it rolls, and it's like a one frame. Uh, I was looking for Sasquatch when I was actually going through the uh, footage. No, it wasn't fun, guys. This was tough for me at the time. Because here I respected these folks. Um, I thought they had legit interaction with uh, with these beings, with Sasquatch. Um, in fact, uh, my wife and I looked up to these folks, along with a lot of other people, for direction, um, how to gift, uh, what to gift, and um, just, again, uh, coming across seemingly as experts in this field. We pulled the video down, there was time. Of course, he pulled the video down immediately when he got my email. Conversation by phone. He told me to give him a call. That they apparently recorded the conversation without telling us or asking us. So, folks, I actually didn't record the conversation. So, there you have it. Uh, I felt a, a need to put a little little heat on the room and tell him I recorded the conversation. I actually didn't record the conversation. I don't have the audio for that. But the pressure worked and they released this video. Uh, these folks contacted me back and um, immediately took down the video and um, contacted me back and wanted to have a chat. Yeah, uh, they gave me their phone number. Um, I contacted them. We had a long conversation. And um, this individual, uh, these individuals, uh, these two individuals, um, explained to me that, that, um, that they messed up. They shouldn't have done it and that it was to appeal the audience. Um, you know, that they were being pressured by uh, their subscribers, by the audience to, to produce. Um, I just don't get that, guys. I really don't. All right, so in this video, we're going to go ahead and talk about Bigfoot researcher Ken King. Now, if you're not familiar with Ken, him and his wife run the YouTube channel Arkansas Bigfoot with about 10,000 subscribers strong. And that YouTube channel chronicles their experiences of the Bigfoot clan living on their property, going as far as habituating, feeding them, and even naming them. Now, the question is, is this popular Bigfoot researcher telling the truth, or is he just lying to everybody for whatever reason? Now, I first came across Ken King many years ago when he posted a video of what he said is a Bigfoot picking up an apple in a video that was taken with an IR camera. So you don't really get much detail uh, other than the focus on this apple. Uh, so the, as you see, it opens up with the Bigfoot kneeling next to the, next to the apple, grabbing the apple, picking it up, and uh, walking away, standing up, walking away. And that's what Ken is saying, hey, look. Bigfoot Jr. picked it up. I was watching that. I'm like, hmm, that's weird. Because, you know, Ben or uh, Ken talks about how they, uh, how Bigfoot can cloak and stuff. I'm like, hmm, why didn't Bigfoot just kind of stay cloaked and, I don't know, grab the apple and leave? But, I don't know, details, I guess. But anyway, so I thought, wow, that's, that's some interesting footage. Let's see if we can find some more information in that one. So I downloaded it and uh, I lightened it up. And I did, actually. I found some more information, and uh, when you line it up, you can see what looks like the end of a costume right around the cuff area, and uh, a black glove, and looks very clear, right? And uh, so I screenshot that and um, and send it to King, or make a post about it, send it to King. I'm like, hey man, whoops. <laughs> and uh, so he makes a video talking about, uh, in response to this, making a video talking about how 
gorillas and chimps commonly have black hands and that it's no big deal and that what I was seeing as far as that into the costume around the, the wrist area there uh, that was just their hair and how it just kind of mats up like that and stuff and it's no big deal business as usual you know which kind of was for them and I'm like huh now you try and uh, so a few months later him and his wife post another video of them in their backyard at nighttime and they are recording a uh, a cell phone that's set up on a tripod and on that cell phone is a radar grid and within that radar grid is all these blips that are coming in and out of it you know like they're claiming as bigfoot so they apparently this cell phone can track all the bigfoots on their property with great detail showing movement when they're coming in and out and and he even sends his wife out there in the dark with the bigfoots <laughs> it's a loving husband <laughs> and so his wife goes out there i guess plays with the bigfoots or whatever granted she never shows up on the radar um but go, yeah, I'll link the, com uh, the video the down below. IR, go read the comments. And so many people believe it. Like, just, they're like, wow, you guys are amazing and brave doing at the forefront of Bigfoot research. Look at this, guys. You guys are, you guys rock. Let me donate more money to you. Because, you know, they're all about donations and stuff uh, for their peanut butter fund. <laughs> and um, and uh, so I'm like, wow, that's that's wild stuff. So I zoom into the phone to see what kind of software they're using to see maybe hey we can use this for our own investigation right so I look it's actually an apple app that uh, you can anybody can get in the apple store it's a ghost hunting app so how that translate to bigfoot i'm not really quite sure but they did it the only people i know in the world using a ghost app to track bigfoot <laughs> that's classic it's like adorable. So anyway, it's a little further down the road. One of their own subscribers caught them hoaxing. Uh, so Ken posted a video about a Bigfoot knocking a camera off a tree. And one of their subscribers named Call of the Crow, YouTube channel, which I'll post down below, likes to go through their footage frame by frame. And so Call of the Crow is going through the footage of the Bigfoot knocking the camera off. And he comes across a single frame, a single frame that shows what was actually knocking that camera off the big uh, off the tree you know what it was it was ken king of course ken king himself pretending to be a bigfoot again and uh so uh the color crow guy was really shocked and surprised because he was a big follower of ken he believed in ken uh you know he was a true subscriber and so he was really taken aback by this so he screenshotted that and reached out to ken he's like ken dude what's up man what's going on bro and so ken's like Choo, dang here's my cell phone number give me a call right away because you know he's in damage control at this point and so uh you can call the crow guy gives ken a call and ken's like yeah man i'm sorry i messed up and the crow guy is saying yeah, but you really got to admit to it. Take some accountability for it because it's, this isn't right. This is wrong. You need to be held accountable for this and take accountability. And and Ken's like, and I don't know. I don't really want to tell my subscribers because it's actually their fault why I'm hoaxing. So Ken proceeds to uh, tell the Call the Crow guy that he's pressured in by his audience, his subscribers, to produce this content. So it's actually their fault for why he's producing it. Um, and uh, he doesn't really want to tell them and, and let this whole thing, the cat out of the bag. That's when the Call the Crow guy is like, yeah, but I'm recording this conversation, so if you don't go tell people, I'll just release this conversation, and you're screwed. So Ken's like, oh boy. So they do. They, uh, they go make a video called Arkansas Bigfoot Burning Down the House, him and his wife did, uh, which is no longer available. And in that video, Ken actually admits to doing that hoax. Ken admits to using black gloves to hit the camera off the tree. Where have we seen those black gloves before? And Ken also admits to adding an audio to that video as well of a Bigfoot. Now, he's saying that he added this audio in from previous videos. So I'm guessing he constantly adds in audio. Shocker. I mean... Who's shocked by that? Uh, the Call the Crow guy says that Ken uses a Bluetooth speaker out in the forest whenever 
uh, he does he gets the whoops in real time he just uh, has another cell phone that will play the whoops when on demand pretty much and it plays out to the Bluetooth speaker easy peasy and so that's what Ken Ken King has been doing and and so they do that and uh, the video comes out Arkansas Bigfoot burning down the house the house is starting to burn down but then Ken and his wife realized that that phone call was never recorded that it was a ruse in order to get uh, King King to actually take accountability for his lying. And when Ken found out about that, he immediately removed that video, the burning down the house video, and proceeds to go in complete damage mode of attacking the Call of the Crow guy. And he gaslights all his audience into attacking the Call of the Crow guy about how he's jealous, how he's just trying to ruin what they're trying to do, and and you know just victimizing themselves completely which their subscribers buy into because they don't really fully understand what's going on they don't realize ken was caught hoaxing and and even when you tell them they still have a hard time believing it because it's like wow this dude that i'm trusting this person i look up to is lying to me i can't believe that i that's a hard pill to swallow so it was uh it was easier for ken to to, to sweep it underneath the rug because the Call of the Crow guy didn't have any backing at the time. It was just him. It was just him saying this. And this is why it's important more people than one just speak up about these hoaxers. It would be great if other people would speak up about them. Uh, just so others realize they're not collectively supported. Uh, you know, their research isn't collectively supported. That's why I actually speak up about Patrick Vaughn uh, on why I don't think he's a valid narrator at all i think he's making up his stories because i don't want people to think i endorse that uh that i you know believe in his research i have never believed in his research in fact i don't even know why he was allowed you know to kind of be in the the group and stuff because you know he was obviously lying and hoaxing and trolling and i told everybody this about the behind the scenes but for whatever reason maybe because they wanted to believe him or did believe him that he just kind of hung out and was just kind of be enabled into the subject and you know uh maybe if more people spoke out about how they didn't believe him maybe he wouldn't be as accepted as he is and the information that he's trying to spread wouldn't be spread nearly as far if more people would you know speak up and take stands against these type of hoaxers again if call the crow guy had more people behind his back supporting him he probably would have been more successful with his campaign on trying to uh, talk about the hoaxing that Ken King is doing. But Ken King was successfully able to attack this guy to the point I tried to reach out to him on multiple platforms, have not heard back from him. I don't even know if he's still in the subject. He might have got ran out because of how stupid this stuff is. It's like the dude's obviously hoaxing, but, you know, he talks about how he wasn't really allowed to talk about it because it was too taboo because he was so beloved just like how patrick is so kind of loved by everybody and liked by everybody that you know they're willing to give him a free pass because he's saying all the right things and because well they probably don't know how to deal with somebody that's lying to him so it's like that's awkward for him and and stuff like that but you know that's why i really like the story with ken king here because it's somebody that's obviously caught hoaxing and uh and is still out there doing it and the process of him getting caught and then weaseling his way out of it is so fascinating and something that we can learn from so hopefully more channels will emerge on talking about these type of hoaxers and uh, all i can do is just really help give examples of all these people and, and only do my small part because you know, i only have so much time for for this type of stuff and um so if others can help do this type of work and really fleshing out all these crappy people and back each other and when we do uh, I think we'll probably get further along on wading through the research of what's actually legitimate what's not I mean this guy called crow he feels he wasted his time on this guy because he believed in him and how many people are how many king kings are like that out there how many people tried to speak up about these type of folks but were silenced because of uh, the majority didn't want to hear it I'm sure it happens quite a bit and uh that's one of the plagues of this subject. I know people are like, oh, we don't want to hear about that. We just want to hear about Bigfoot stuff. It's like, well, how do you know the stuff that you're hearing about Bigfoot's even real? 
So don't you want to verify that first and verify some of these people that are actually saying this stuff? Uh, don't you want to do that first versus, uh, you know, just believing it and, you know, that whole thing? So I don't know. This is a, it's a weird one because, like, in that video, Ken and his wife are there lying about admitting to them lying to their subscribers and stuff. And, like, wow, that's, that's like, that's, that's fascinating to me because how can you sit next to a person that's admitting they're a liar and deceiving other people and still sit next to them? For me, I'd be like, whoa, you are a one toxic mofo. I'm kicking you out of my life because why should I have somebody like you in my life? Like, you're so dishonest. And, you know, how do I know you're not going to do that to me and lying to me? I bet you that is one crazy relationship those two have lying to each other when they're okay with them, uh, you know, lying to other people. Wow. That's like, whew. I, you know, I just don't get these, you know, these type of mindsets. But again, we're not supposed to because they're, they don't have uh, the same perspective or the same goals or the same outlook that we have. They're okay being dishonest, lying to people, you know, doing it for whatever reason. I, it's just weird. But anyways, um, uh, you know, this is just another great example. So hopefully, uh, you know. Uh, nothing's probably gonna really come of it because nothing really ever does because again it's just one single voice out there talking about this but if there's like 10 12 channels all making videos about this that's the type of influence uh, where it gets these uh, hoaxers to really notice and and to uh, really start going down the road of taking accountability because I mean the smoking gun is here with Ken King so you know, it's up to Ken how he's going to respond. He's probably not going to respond because hoaxers usually don't respond because they just uh, want to ignore it because they think it'll go away that way by not taking any accountability. And um, they can just say things like, oh, they're just jealous. And all his subscribers will, will believe him. But if you got like 12, 15 channels out there saying it, it's a harder one to uh, harder one to walk away and cover up. But I don't know. I guess we'll see how that all that goes. But anyway, so that's um, that's King King, King King hoaxing and uh, getting caught, and how he's still out there, and uh, another great example. So I guess that's it. Uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Thank you.